Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdulaziz Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to continue the previous video. How do we implementing like on tab selected listener in our library? But before we are going to the main topic of this video, I'm so grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up. Okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my video. First of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good, so if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. So, to this video, we are going to implementing like on tap selected listener in animated bottom bar. So, before we are continuing this section, make sure you have watched my previous video. If you haven't watched my video, you can watch link in the description below. And make sure you have downloaded my project. And if you haven't yet downloaded it, you can download link in the description below. Alright, and if you are ready, let's open our project. Alright, so this is our previous project. And in this project, we just have animated button bar with blank screen. So in this section, we have three menu. The first one is home. The second one is book. And the last is account. So let's assume that I want to moving from one menu to another menu or from one tab to another tab using something like fragment. So let's say I want to set a frame layout here and when I on the home, the layout will be fragment home. And when I move to the another tab, let's say book here and the frame layout will be changed to be book fragment and so on alright so the first step is we need to create a new fragment in our project here right click on the layout or right click on the java and we click new fragment and fragment blank and then and uncheck this and rename to home fragment and this create layout xml and finish alright so we have create one fragment so let's create another fragment let's say book fragment like the before uncheck this and finish and the last but not least let's say account uncheck this and finish alright so we have three fragment home fragment book fragment and account fragment so the next step is we need to design every layout of our fragment so we open fragment home and we change the layout to relative layout and we say here background color let's say a uh, blue and then for the text we say home here and for the text size, let's say 26 SP and center in parent, true. And then for the color, let's say white, all right, we see here. So copy this and we move to another fragment. Let's say book and we need to change this to book fragment. And here is book and the color to maybe this color and let's move to another fragment and let's say account fragment and for the background change to pink and this to account alright so we have finished designing our our fragment layout so we need to close the others and we go to our activity main.xml and for the first step we need to change this to relative layout or you can use uh, your favorite layout we say here align parent bottom true so i want to make uh, my animated bottom bar to be in the bottom of our screen and we say here frame layout match parent and match parent all right and we give id let's say fragment container as simple as that and then uh, let's say i want to give a background here let's say white 
alright and the next step is we go to our java file main activity java and here we need to call our animated button bar yeah and i say animated button bar and then fragment manager and we say fragment manager and before that make sure we have give id to our animated button bar so we can see i haven't yet give id to my animated button bar so we give id here and we back to our main activity java and here as usual we need to call our view with find view by id and my id is animated button bar all right and then uh, we need to call here animated button bar dot set on tab select listener and then new animated button bar dot on tab select listener and it will be automatically generated by uh, the library so i need to change this to maybe less index and this one to less tab and this to new index and this to new tab and you can change based on your interest for the better understanding i use this to make it uh, readable for another people less index last tab new index and new tab all right and in this case i want to use switch case statement switch case statement i mean so uh, i say here fragment and i say uh, so we need to press alt plus enter and we say android x fragment so we say fragment and for the default i assign to null and then i say here switch and then i need to give parameter here let's say new tab and then get id so from this i want to get id of uh, our animated button bar based on the id and let's say cast id home so this id is uh, my menu id we can check here on the menu so we say id home book and user so when my id is home so i want to change my frame layout to home layout home fragment and we need to say here new and then we break here and then when uh, my id is book i want to set my fragment to book fragment and break again and the last when the id is account so so we back to menu so this account all right here and i want to set my fragment to be account fragment as simple as that all right we have uh, declared the switch case statement as simple as that but we haven't yet uh, used the fragment here the fragment variable so below that uh, we say if the fragment not null when if um, my fragment is not null so i want to call my fragment manager here so i want to assign to get support fragment manager and then i want to begin transaction here and then i want to replace my frame layout which is the id is fragment container and then i want to replace with new fragment that the based on our position all right and let's say fragment here and we say commit all right and then i give else here so we say log a and then tag and i want to show uh, error message here error in creating fragment and we see red error here so more action and then create constant in my activity and then we say here main activity dot class dot get simple name all right so we have declared the on tab selected based on the id all right so let's run our app all right so this is our app and we see here home and in the first time or in the first our app is open we don't see anything here or we just see white screen and let's click this 
book tab and it change to be this fragment book and let's click this and it's change to account this and let's click home again and it change to home fragment but uh, in the first time when we open our app it just kind of like a white screen or blank screen but the indicator is on the home tab so we can see here this because when in the first time i set our the selected index is zero so let's say zero one and two so in the first time my tab will be on the zero index let's say the zero index is home so when i delete this and i restart the app so our app will be still blank screen or still white screen but there's no tab selected so to solve this we need to add some line of code here let's say if save instant state equal null so we say here animated button bar and let's say not this uh, we need to call our fragment manager and as usual get support fragment manager and then uh, we say home fragment uh, let's say home fragment here and then we say fragment manager begin transaction replace frame layout to be home fragment and then commit and we need to add this select tab by id and we say uh, my id is home and we say true all right let's try to run again i hope there's no error let's restart all right in the first time now our screen uh, will be replaced with home fragment which is this uh, blue screen this this and then select tab by id is home so when i press this change to book change to account back to home back to book and so on all right so we just need to add some line of this as simple as that all right so i think that's enough my video today if you have any questions or comment you can write it down on the comment field and if you want to discuss with me, you can join my Discord link in the description below. And if you want to download like source code, you can download it from link in the description below. Okay, thank you so much and see you again on the next video.